During this brief presentation, I will give you a short overview of how to understand the information that we've included on your child's Key Stage 3 report. When you receive a normal data report, this top section, the school overview, gives you the attendance breakdown in the top left hand side. It gives you the prior attainment in Key Stage 2 SATs, which is the 100 score SATs and it gives you the behaviour summary as well. Now with the behaviour summary, you will see behaviour points accrued, achievement points, and the times late to AM and PM registration. In addition, this section also contains your child's end of year target grade. Now, as you can see on this example report, the end of year target grade is developing. The next section is the current progress that your child is making in each of the subjects that they study. Now, for all subjects, with the exception of PSHE, we provide a working at grade. These working at grades are words which compare to the target and you will be able to see whether your child is or is not making progress. We also provide a numerical attitude to learning. Now, these are scored one to six. I will go through on the later slides what each of these mean. But it gives you a quick overview to know how your child is engaging within their learning within each of the individual subjects. As with the full reports, which again we will come on to later, you will get an area for development if a staff member feels there is an area of concern for your child. These are only used if a staff member has concerns on a data report entry with your child's progress and their attitude to learning. In our Key Stage 3 assessment system, students are graded from working towards to excellence. And these grade descriptors are linked to your child's prior attainment. When every year seven cohort enters, students have to be flight pathed by the Department for Education from their attainment at Key Stage 2 through to their outcomes at the end of Key Stage 4. The way that students' target grades are generated are linked to whether they are lower, mid or higher prior attainment bands. We use this information to generate an approximate target grade for your child so that we can track their progress across the three years of Key Stage 3 and on to Key Stage 4. This progression is linked to the Department for Education tables that are published each academic year. So for a middle achieving child that has entered with a SAT score of between 100 and 110 on average, their end of year seven target grade in the table shown in the top right hand side would be emerging. At the end of year eight, they would be developing and at the end of year nine, they're expected to be secure. On the report that was shown on the previous screen, you saw how working at grade is provided for each individual subject. You are able to compare your child's working at grade to their target to see whether they are making the expected level of progress or not. It should not be a surprise if a student is one grade below their target grade on their first report, but they should be moving towards achieving their target on their second report. This assessment system provides you a clear understanding of how your child should be progressing across the three years. One of the most important pieces of information that we will provide you alongside working at grade is the attitude to learning score. For every single subject, each student is ranked one to six. This attitude to learning score tells you as a parent how well they're engaging within the subject and how well they're demonstrating the values that we expect to see from children here at Bluecoat. If your child is achieving a score of between four to six, there is very little concern. That's the type of score that we expect to see of most learners here at Bluecoat. And obviously we want to see as many students achieving the five and six as possible. If students are achieving three or below, so inconsistent down to cause for concern, then staff are likely to provide you with additional information on the data report. And this will consist of an area for development. Alongside your child's data report, once a year, we will receive a full report. In this full report, you will still receive the working at grade, attitude to learning, but you will get a small comment around strengths and areas for development. These strengths and areas of development are individual to each subject and are set by the class teachers. The idea behind them is it gives you a short overview of what areas are going well and what areas they need to work on in order to improve their progress and engagement in lessons. 
This information is intentionally brief and you will receive an in-depth understanding of your child's progress using our online parents evenings, which we provide using School Cloud. Finally, can I thank you for taking the time to watch this video? And if you have any other queries regarding your child's report, please email admin at bluecoatschool.com.